Hello and welcome to the Cross BBO add-ons video. In this video we'll be going over how to install and use the Cross BBO add-ons. To install the Cross BBO add-on, simply go to the knowledge base. To navigate to the knowledge base from the application, go to the top left where it says help, go to user guide, and from user guide you can go to the top right and click on add-ons. Navigate to the Cross BBO tab scroll down to where it says install the cross BBO add-on here. Once you've clicked on it and installed it, go back into bookmap, go to the top left, configure add-ons, go to add add-on, add the cross BBO indicator here, and you should be greeted with a screen showing all your active instruments. Now to use the cross BBO add-on, there are numerous use cases. The primary use case would be to look at different market spreads on a single ticker. For instance, right now I'm looking at the multi-book HERP for Bitcoin USDT, but at the same time I've got the last trades for Hobie, Finance Futures, OKX, Coinbase Pro, and the best bid and offer for Bybit enabled. Now let's go ahead, have a look at this recent sort of pump. If I look at this, I can see this orange line trades much longer, or much higher. And what I can see from this is Binance Futures had a steady incline. The trades took a while and executed much later than the trades from Bybit, Bobi, and OKX. As you can see, this came in much earlier. This tells me that the moves were happening on different exchanges, but arbitrage slowly caught up and finally Binance Futures got the information. Now, you could be saying that on Binance, there were no walls here and we can look at the Binance ticker for this time and see if the walls were hit. all the way back and on here you can see that this is where everything happened this is where Binance happened and it took a very long time for Binance to finally come in to effect and you can see the volume sort of happens dancing across this it's a very large sort of spread here and finally hitting the wall here so though you'd have got the information much later you could have sort of seen that you're expecting a push up and a slow decline but that's something that you could have captured on with this cross PBO add-on is the fact that prices were looking to wick into this and decline zoom out you can see price continues to go down and everything sort of appears as normal but always as a constant you can see the coinbase pro is always higher than binance's price this tells me that people on coinbase pro like to trade short more and they the market makers or the people the powers that be at that time always like to take the short stop and have to be more aggressive with a short stop much higher. Vice versa is also true for the Bybit ticker. As you can see, this one's always an inch lower. And if we just go into our add-ons again and hone in to just both the Coinbase Pro and the Huobi and uncheck the Huobi one, we can look at the Bybit and Coinbase by itself. And then go into chart visible components and turn off the ask a bid for Binance and just look at it overlaid within the Binance sort of price. So we can see the pink and the lilac are the asks, whereas the yellow and the orange are the uh, bids. Orange being for Coinbase Pro and uh, yellow being for Bybit in my case. You can see that. Though the spreads are different, price will look like the same. And again, this is information you can only sort of 
get from tick sort of data. And this is what I mean by spread. Spread is just the difference between the best ask and best bid. Spread from exchange to exchange differs as different people trade on different exchanges. So the behaviors are different. The behaviors on Bybit are more lower focus because they're trying to take out more longs than they are trying to take out more shorts. And for Coinbase Pro, they're trying to take out shorts and it's much easier to take out shorts if they go a step higher and take them out here. As you can see, they have to hang around for a much longer because they know that they, they're not in fear of introducing new, new shorts in the market if they go up higher. But at the same time, they know if they stay up a bit higher, they can always get people, suckers bets, as I like to call them, entered in at this price, to then liquidate them at a lower price. This is one instance where you can use CrossBBO to gleam an advantage. If I go back to this uh, perpetuals, and we go back into this uh, add-ons page, and we look at the, and we look at this, uh, options and just turn off the buy bit and just look at last trades we can see that often the green line in this case buy bit will always trade lower than any other exchange price of cross this exchanges will appear the same on the ticker but that is when they finalize the price at close because they like to keep closes to the same sort of price in terms of stop hunts and, and last price because you get you get stopped out based off of your last uh the last mark price depending on how you enter your stops you'll be stopped out if you enter certain stops here on coinbase pro and maybe not on bybit as you can see there are some differentials between the exchanges this can help you, also help you try to identify which exchange you may or may not want to use just purely based on spread data as well as trying to identify where to place your stops and if you need to actually force yourself out of a position for instance if we go back to the case we have on here you see the Binance finally does the order movement here, and if we re-add the Binance asking bid, Binance does its moves here, but to you it might be sort of scary on Binance saying, oh, they're still taking the time in doing this, so you may already be in a short or entered a short at, say, this wall, and then said, oh, no, prices continue to go up. Do I do or do I do not want to? take my position off out of fear of price going higher and looking at other exchanges you can see that you in fact want to keep your short in place at least for the meanwhile as you can see you'd have been profitable in that short for a while to come but you may have as they call it paper handed it because you are scared of what was showing on Binance and how the spread was moving as you can see this is what we call Spread, spread widens, and arbitrage takes into effect as all the exchanges are done with collecting orders, but Binance is not done because Binance has more traders than most other exchanges. So maybe they needed the extra time to get these people into long or take the stops. So prices on multiple exchanges go down, Binance stays up. Then arbitrage takes into effect, then there you go. Binance snaps back and trades with everything else. It's using these sort of, and exploiting these uh, behaviors that can give you an advantage using the cross BBO indicator. That has been one of the use cases you can use cross BBO indicator. If you find more use cases, leave a comment in the video description below and share it with everyone else. I hope you enjoyed this video and found, use case, and found it helpful for you have leave a like subscribe to the channel for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one